In this video, I am going to show you how you can send an email using your domain email with Gmail. So stay tuned. Hi, my name is Ken and I help businesses to grow using digital marketing. If you are new to this channel, this channel talks about digital marketing and entrepreneurship. So if you are interested in these kind of topics, do consider subscribing to this channel, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future video. Now let's talk about sending email with a domain email using Gmail. I got a method here to show you which is free. So this method, I only found out after I registered to Improv MX, which I shown in the previous video. So you can check in the video where I show you how you can do email forwarding, create a domain email and then forward it to Gmail, right? And then after that, they come up with email where they can help you create to send the email, the domain email using Gmail out. The issue that I noticed this is, uh, at first, I thought this is an Improv MX tutorial, but it is not. In fact, you can use this in any other emails as long as you set your forwarding right. For example, if you send an email to this domain email and then you receive that email, you are able to receive that email, then this method is usable for any, any methods. So you can use the Namecheap forwarding method, you can use the Improv MX forwarding method. So all these methods can be used. I only noticed it after I, I recorded the video, so there might be a bit of a difference from what I'm saying right now, but just let you know that it is doable as well. As this is more towards how you can send a domain email using Gmail SMTP server. And this and there's a limit of course for free one, I think 500 a day. So I, I think this is good enough for any beginner's uh, company. Unless you want maybe big enough, then you get the whole G Suite. All right, if you're big enough, money is not a matter. This is anyway free. So yeah, without further ado, a long explanation because I need to make it clear that this method is actually usable not only for improved app max but also for any other email forwarding tool around, right? The method is the same. So yeah, let's jump the computer and let me show you how. Alright, in the previous video, I talked about how you can forward your email from Namecheap or any domain email that you have into your Gmail account using this software called Improv MX. And once you have this uh, software, um, registered and things like that. So now there's another way. You can even send email from your domain email from Gmail account. So this is the next email that directly sent after a while. You see it's here. So there's a guide. I can click on it and just one by one just follow the guide. So I'm just gonna walk you through the guide. If you do not want to follow the video along, you can just uh, read through. I'll pop them in the description box below. So just follow it accordingly, right? So now let's go to What's the first thing you need to do? You need to enable a two-factor authentication. I have a video to show two-factor authentication, but I'm still going to go through the process in a very quick manner so you can just follow along. All right, now let's go to enable two-factor authentication for your Google account. So this is a way to do it. Let's just get started. So get started. Alright, so now the two-factor authentication is set up for this account. Let's see what's next, right? Create an app password. So Google will verify. So select mail under app and Mac. Okay, let's just go to an app. Let's go to mail. I'll just click here, create an app password. Verify again. Next. So directly go to app password. This is simple, direct, easy, right? Just directly go to here. Uh, just go to the account here. Myaccount.google.com slash app password, right? So just, just click on the button. They have everything here, which is pretty good. <laughs> now create an app password. Mail. Windows computer. Generate. All right. So now you can you can see it's here. Now how to use this. This is your password. And that's it. Yeah. Done. Just turn back. You see it's here. All right. So next time you can put it, you can find app password here. Go to security and find app password. All right. Now let's let's start doing this part. Um, let's see what the email they have. Security alert. So turn on. Okay. So now let's go to uh, what's next, which is add your email to Gmail. Let's go do it. Go to settings. Go to see all settings. Go to account and import. Uh, click on uh, send mail as. Go add another email address. All right. What's the email that you want to use? So this is the email that I want to send it over. Next step. So this SMTP server is written, uh, use this one, smtp at gmail.gmail.com. So username is your, is the email that you're, that you're using. And also after that, um, the password was the password that, that you got just now. So just click on the password, save, add account. 
then I'll just wait. So it's done, right? Congratulations, we successfully located your other server for your credential. So they send an email confirmation to this email, which we set up earlier on just now in the previous video, uh, where you set the, the forwarding. So now let's just wait for the email to arrive. Then we can just verify the confirmation code. Let's just wait. All right, you see, right? Now the email has arrived. So you just have to put Gmail confirmation. So the confirmation code is here. And then you just put the code here and just verify. And tada, and now the, it is done. Right, so you just go to settings again, and you can see go to account import, and you can see the email is here. Can uh, the, the email is sent to smtp.gmail.com using Gmail SMTP, right? Okay, so now just to test, now you have everything set up. Now you try to send the email from your domain email to a Gmail account or to any other email account. You can try. So I just want to send from a domain email to another email address. That just compose, so you can choose the email that you use. Right. One thing to take note that is that it does take some time to propagate for all the settings to set up. So you just wait like 10-15 minutes before you try this, uh, not immediately, because yeah, things need to get ready to in the server side, right? So I want to send the email to here, right? So that I can see whether it's working or not. So I'm sending an email right now to my Gmail account using my domain email. Let's send and see. Yep. You see it come quite immediately. So it arrived. And then you can see that it is from the domain email that we set up earlier just now. You can test this to any email and you know that it's working perfectly right now. So this is how you can easily send email from your domain email using Gmail. So this is how you can easily set up all these things, right? Hope that it helps. Thank you. Yep, that's it. That's how you can easily set your emails to your Gmail so that you can send email using your domain emails. Again, you can use any forwarding software like Import MX that I recommended. Right or any other ways, as long as you're able to receive that code. When you're able to receive that code, then yeah, you can automatically send it over. So these things things are much better that way. So there, yeah, this is how you can set it. All you need to do for your Gmail account is you need to set up a two-factor authentication. You need to put the password for your email, and then yeah, then you can do it. So just follow step by step. Right. If you have any questions, you feel free to put in the conversation below. And I'll try to reply as much as I can, especially technical questions, because uh, I do notice this is a bit difficult, a bit different from the other videos. It might sound conflicting, but at least this is a method that I can find that you can send email for free, right? Using a Gmail account, right? Uh, and still using your domain professionally. So this is a, a great way you can do it. Right? With that, if you have not subscribed to this channel, do consider subscribing to the channel, turn the notification bell so you do not miss any of my future videos. And if you like what I share, you like this video, do consider liking this video, do consider sharing it out. And with that, thank you very much and i see you in my next video. Goodbye!